man was a spy sent here by the enemy. Simply killing him would not be enough. I'll dispose of his ashes as well. My brother was not a spy. He's been here for a year. If he's a spy, why would he need to wait until now? You killed an innocent man! How did you get this pass? My brother had arranged it for me. I never thought it would cause him trouble. Do you have any idea how the human mansion deals with runaway slaves like you? They're beaten to death, and their heads hung from a pole. Then you can hang my head from the tower gate if you want. But my brother did nothing wrong. He was innocent. So what if that were true? He's innocent. Only the strong ones are respected. Here in this world, the weak will be stepped upon. If I can survive this, then I swear. I swear that I'll become strong. No, you would not. You will always be weak. You can cry if you want. After that, you still get up in the morning and get to work as always. Don't give them a reason to pick on you. But... It's... It's pointless. Will crying bring Ling Shi back? But what else can we do other than cry? We can't even get his body to bury him. We could if we tried, but you're too scared to even try! You always tell us not to fight back. But look at what happened. Now our brother's gone! This is your fault. Since you joined the family, you've brought us nothing but suffering and bad luck! Shaoba! You were nothing but bad news! You caused our mother and father to die, and now you killed my brother as well! Who are you going to bring down next, me or my sister? You're a monster! Stop it! Well, am I wrong? Those things did happen! And it was her fault, That's ever enough. since she... Lin Chi is dead, and you're not the only one here who's heartbroken. What happened wasn't Xiao Liu's fault. The only thing to blame is our own bad luck. We were born into a world that devalues life, 
And us slaves are as powerless as can be. We're nothing but playthings of other people. There, there. The dead are gone. But we're still alive. We have to move on. No matter how hard it is. <laughs> my lord. Is you and Chua dead? Just as you wish, my lord. Did you personally see him die? Uh, about that. I trust that Jinju witnessed him die. What do you mean you trust she saw it? I want you to see his corpse with your own two eyes! Oh, his corpse! My lord. My lord. I didn't see the corpse myself, but... You idiot! You're all worthless. This was the easiest task in the world. <sighs> that man is a sly old fox. I have to make sure myself. doing back here? Worthless slave. Miss Graham. You're going to have to go through me. The Green Hill Court has fallen so low. Looks like none of you and you are slaves. Know their place and follow the rules! Seven. They're our guests. Let them in. to mourn the dead. Yet I didn't see my father's uncle before the coffin was sealed. My grandfather held certain grudges. You know what I mean. It appears this is an obvious attack on the third house. I've already shown respect to the elders of the great third house by not killing you. You're still as frank as always. But I suspect my father's uncle was murdered, so I must see his body myself to learn the truth. You wouldn't dare. Let's see if I dare or not. what other conspiracies you're working on as we speak. The poor old man was just a cripple. But he was still the true master of you and mansion. Now he has died from unknown causes. As a son of the third house, I need to know what caused his death! Open it! <laughs> Why? 
the Greenhill Court will not tolerate this kind of behavior. The Greenhill Court is but an empty shell now. <laughs> when my father's uncle was alive, I've shown you some respect. Now that he's gone, do you really believe you still have authority over me? Huh? You had been abandoned by the second house, and my father's uncle have generously adopted you. If you actually knew your place, you'd run back to the second house and think about what your mother did back then. Then you'd dig a hole, go bury yourself in it, and stop making such a big fool of yourself. Welcome, my lady. You may rise. Thank you, my lady. You and why? How dare you disturb a funeral? You're here picking fights, and you nearly hit my eunuch. My lady, you and Ye insisted on sealing the coffin, and he even tried to kill me. That's why we were fighting. My lady, grandfather died from a rare western poison. I was worried it would spread, so I burned some suspicious items. And then I sealed the coffin. It was a wise decision, sealing the coffin. And have you figured out who poisoned him? No, I don't know yet. Although, he might be closer than we think. What do you mean by that? Enough. His body is still warm, yet you two are already fighting in front of his coffin. Have you no manners? Western poison. I am aware that the third house of Yuan Mansion has often purchased some rare imperial goods along the Silk Road. Last year, the Empress Dowager was even gifted a cat with two colored eyes. The head of purchases is Yuan Wai. You and you, you're slandering me! Children! You dare fight before the consort! You two should stop. I was simply thinking out loud about the matter at hand earlier. I didn't mean to offend you. And you and Ye simply added details based on the facts. Yet for this, you try to kill him. It seems clear that if I leave this place now, you and all of your guards will jump at the chance to keep bullying your cousin. I wouldn't dare. Please uphold your justice, my lady. Very well. To preserve the peace between your two houses, I have decided to view Lord Chuo's body myself. My lady, your health is precious. You can't risk your body. It's fine.
I have personally verified that the reason behind his death is poison. The old man once helped me in the past. Thus, I have to take care of his funeral affairs. By Imperial Edict, unless invited by the Master, you and Y will not be allowed into Green Hill Court. You and Y. Lady. Hmm? You're prejudiced against me. It's true that I believe that you have a tendency to overreact and forget your status. My lady. We're done here. Please leave us. You did me a great favor, my lady. I am deeply grateful. I knew your grandfather for many years, and I watched you grow up. How could I simply stand by and watch at such a time? I am very sorry, my lady, for involving you into this. I really don't mind. However... From now on, you're going to be in a precarious position. Have you thought about how you're going to move forward from here? I know that your grandfather always wanted you to marry Chun. If you could win the Emperor's trust and find a way to restart the Sky Eye, I will facilitate the marriage. I'm just an ordinary man. I'm not worthy of the princess. I wouldn't consider it. You and me. You are a clever man. And you must know that the Sky Eye is very valuable, so the Emperor would not let it fall into the hands of anybody else. He would either use it himself, or he would destroy it. So you should realize that you are not the Emperor's only option. That is why, at this point, you have to make a decision. Do you understand? I understand. She refused to enter your bed because she was saving herself for that prick you and you. <laughs> There's more. Concert plays ban you from entering the Green Hill Court. Grandfather, what is our next step? It's going to be up to you now. <laughs> you and Chua is dead. Now the only one we have to deal with is that you and you. If we want to get our hands on the Sky Eye, we should make sure to place one of our people in his bed. I don't care. Just take care of it. Go get me some more maids and stop bothering me. This is important. I can't make this decision by myself. Your decision means nothing. You should have been born as a legal son of the third house. <laughs> but you crawled out of a random singing woman. You're only fit for the simplest of tasks anyway.
Here, shall you. Drink this medicine soup. It'll replenish your energy. It will help you to recover more quickly. Here. Shall you? Do you think that you were the one who caused Linchi's death? Shall you? We were born in difficult times where life has no value. Our destiny is out of our control. That's not true. I am not going to let Lindsay's death be for nothing at all. Hmm. The medicine? I'm here. Only because Lindsay fought for me. I have to go on living for him. Shaolu from the woodshed to the pavilion as well. Why her? Mrs. Song, please show mercy to my sister. I'm begging you. Don't think that you can disrespect me just because Mr. Ja has a fondness for you. I'm still the one who calls the shots around here. What are you still doing here? Send Jing Shaolu to the pavilion of bliss. Mrs. Song, please show mercy. I'm willing to do anything, as long as you don't send Xiaoli there. Please, Mrs. Song! Please! Please, Mrs. Song! You would do anything? Yes! Anything you want. <laughs> Jishang, look who's here. Hello, Jishang. Xiao Qi. Oh, Zishan, I missed you so much. I'll take that. It's good to see you again. Zishan, I missed you so much. So Ling Shi did manage to get Xiao Qi into Yuan Mansion. But because of that, now he's dead. And Xiao Lu is barely holding on. Hey, it's all right. Don't be sad. Xiaoba, hmm? hold on to this for Xiaoyu. Make sure you don't lose it. Make sure it's safe. It's very important to Xiaoyu. Hmm. Let's hope Xiaoyu can make it through all this. Xiaoyu? 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 
Shaoqi. You're back. Are you all right? It's great to see that you're okay. Shall you? I have to take care of something. I may have to go away for a while. And while I'm away, you must take care of Shaoqi and Shaoba. Where are you going? Is it about Zhu Xuan? No, don't worry. Zhu Xiang, tell us. Where are you going? We're going with you. That's right. I'll do just fine by myself. I'll be back before you know it. You two promise me that while I'm away, you'll do as Xiao Yu says. Do you promise? Mm -hmm. Xiao Yu, Xiao Qi, and Xiao Ba, take care of them for me. Remember, don't fight back no matter what happens. Mm hmm. Crying. Show you. Show you. What are we going to do? What's wrong? Jisham was sent to the Pavilion of Bliss. What is that? The old master of the third house lives there. <laughs>
I'll look after Xiao Jin and Xiao Ba. Before you ask me not to fight back, but to live, I promised you that I would, but I didn't really understand. But when I see you here, lifeless and thrown away as if you were a bag of spoiled carrots and cabbages, All of your things. You're leaving tonight. If you're not gone by tomorrow, I'll kill you. All right then. Fine, you win. <laughs> Those sneaky little low lives. Catch you red-handed. Maybe Lord Y will change his mind about me. Here, this is Xi Shang's tablet. Chisyang, <laughs> Lin Shi. Please look after each other. Don't let people bully you in the underworld. Our dear Lin Xi and our dear Zishan, rather than caving into destiny and leaving our lives in the hands of others, we should choose to live, to live freely and die without regret. You insolent slaves! Don't you know that whoever burns paper money in the private Yuan mansion should be beaten to death? We just want to burn paper money to honor our brother and sister. There's no need to overreact. So I'm overreacting. Come with me to see Lord Y. Then you can beg him for mercy! You. You're still injured. Don't be stubborn, Mrs. Song. I know that you're a generous person. 
If we've made any mistakes, I'll take full responsibility. <laughs> Who do you think you are? You think you can help them? Thanks, you low lives. I'm going to suffer in a poor village. If I can't have a foot like then I'm not it. <laughs> Finds out, you can just tell them that I was the one who killed her. 